thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. And we're live! Welcome back to part 28 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John in Epilogue 2. Don't get too close to the water, John. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Okay there. John is back in Blackwater filming content for another video. There's some mysterious writing on the pier that we need to investigate. We have seen this writing before, but we lost the footage, and it looks like we have to investigate again. Looks Aztec. What could it mean? And here is the map. And here is the map. John is pretty certain this writing has something to do with Undead Nightmare. John is afraid of the water, but he's going to wade out as far as he can to face his fears. This is going pretty well. And that's probably enough for today as our cores drain instantly. We better get back to the shore. Well, that was an odd experiment that accomplished nothing. Let's move on. And the next morning, John is back on the pier. He's fascinated by the water and doesn't quite know why. All right, y'all. Hi there, sir. Hello, sir. Out of the damn way! Howdy, mister. Hi there. Some you, you, are. you know what to do, girl. Let's do a quick riding tour of Blackwater. More of a patrol, really. We'll just make certain all is well in town. Looking good. Let's go home and check up on Uncle and Charles. I always try to remember to investigate these lone trees. We might find something, you never know.
Dead bison here. Looks like he was shot and bled out. Don't tell Charles. It will only upset him. John, better investigate. There may be poachers about. Some wild mustangs, or do they belong to that camp? These may be the bison poachers. We should see if they know anything about that dead bison. You okay, my darling? You'll be okay. Fill your belly. And there's no one here. Random supplies. John, however, is not in a bad honor mood. Some horseshoes and a horse brush. Nice looking setup here. I always appreciate a well made bed. And nothing in this wagon except for some kindling. There's my girl. Let's move on. John still feels like patrolling, so now he's looking for the cougar. There she is. Note we had an alert from the horse. Very easy to miss. And John puts one behind her ear. No worries, she's only sleeping. One star. Oh well, let's go visit the trapper and see what he's up to. Good girl. Let's go. Condor, Raven, false alarm. Condors haunt John. He has nightmares about them.
got a criminal here. Just? You robbed and murdered your way across half the country. John is uninterested in dealing with any bounty hunters right now. Back at the trappers, we shall drop off this cougar. Okay, let's take a look at it. The trapper has a light, but I guess it isn't dark enough for him to turn it on. The trapper has great night vision. Let's move on. The next day down south in Armadillo. We shall explore Armadillo, however, consulting the map, we need to go right about here. John has something to show you. Mister? Morning, sir. And we better get the bolt action out. We might need it. Checking the map again, we need to go here. This X bears investigation. <laughs> Dead man here. He has a nice hat. Here is the Chinese skull cap. I know you guys like hats. John will take a moment to pose for the Instagram, link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for my second gaming channel, Twitter and our Discord. And the map. We are slightly north of the second L in Armadillo. Let's check out his camp. His tent is in disarray, also some supplies that he doesn't need anymore. Nice looking china plate here. Also some baskets, nothing of note.
He does have a letter, however. This letter is in Chinese. Are there any viewers who can read Chinese watching right now? Perhaps they could leave a comment if this letter is actually accurate or merely gibberish. Fortunately for us, John can read Chinese. He learned from Hosea, who had some Chinese friends in Saint Denis. It reads, Letter from Cho Wei. Dear Cho Yi, I appreciate your efforts to search for your cousin Cho Ming in America. As your uncle, I am eternally in your gratitude. My son has always been a romantic, frivolous boy, and this journey to America is just another of his romantic dreams. As if a son born to the greatness of our family could ever find satisfaction building such an uncivilized nation as America, or in marrying such a woman as Chi Roy Yi. She is little more than a sorceress who has imprisoned his heart and encouraged him to betray his family. His desire to prove himself independent of his family responsibilities here in Shanghai and in Hong Kong is neither admirable nor honorable, and I am forever grateful that you, as a member of his generation, do not share such foolish ideas. Good luck in America, your uncle, Cho Wei. Sounds like a Penelope Braithwaite Beau Gray situation, except once upon a time in China. Wish we could find a reference to the happy couple, perhaps in Saint Denis at the Jade Dragon. And then John was trying to pose for the thumbnail when the shot was interrupted, perhaps even ruined by a condor. John hates condors. Exploring Armadillo, I do love the light in New Austin. We can make some great videos down here. <coughs> hey there, mister. <coughs> okay, you son of a bitch. What's going on with this stranger? <coughs> John wants to show him his new hat. Gee, oh. Uh, oh. oh, God. Just, oh, oh, whoo, oh, 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 <coughs> oh, just gonna, hey, hey, just, uh, just give me a minute. I'm headed with this cursed town. Better help him out and dump this corpse in the pit. Friend, these bodies, they make you sick. You sure you're all right? Yeah, just been working. <coughs> I can buried half the town at this point. Thanks for your concern, but I'll be fine. I'm just gonna finish up here. 
I get the feeling if we linger here, he's going to kick the bucket, and that would ruin John's mood. All he wants to do is show off his new hat to all the good citizens of Armadillo. Bye bye now. <coughs> hey, fella. Hey, partner. Well, I guess no one here will judge you on account of how you look. The Undertaker's doing a thriving business. Ma'am? Curse comes no matter how strange you dress. And people are dropping dead on the street. Mister? Hello, mister. Everything's boarded up. Note the cholera posters. Cholera, to quote Google, is a bacterial disease usually spread through contaminated water. Cholera causes severe diarrhea and dehydration. Left untreated, cholera can be fatal within hours, even in previously healthy people. Modern sewage and water treatment have virtually eliminated cholera in industrialized countries. Interesting. We should look for a well or a contaminated water source. This outhouse is a likely contamination point, however it is nowhere near a water source, either a well or some sort of sluice or stream. Checking the map, looks like the closest water source is Lake Don Julio. There is a water tank at the train station, but we can assume that water's for the train. Also, the tank is covered, so this water is probably clean. Most of these jumps of Arthur and John's are deliberate in nature. This one, however, is what you would call spontaneous. Wish John had someone he could tell, perhaps the town crier, that this water is safe, or safer than whatever they've been drinking. Get up, lady. However, it looks like the saloon is still open. Don't get so many tourists these days. And at the bar, we can get whiskey or beer. However, do you really want to be served by a bartender with hands like that? John doesn't want to take the chance. That bartender may also be a probable contamination source. Feller? Stranger? Hey, mister.
back door here. Move along. So oh, sorry. What's upstairs? Partner, keep back. Glycerin healing tar soap. These dolls are all over the game. Also, I wish we could zoom in and read the book titles. John didn't really expect to find anything in that cupboard. And I'm fairly certain all of these doors are locked, but let's be systematic about it. So long. Hello. Oh, hi. Change your mind about going back outside, huh? Look at that antler chandelier. I think they have one of those in the Valentine Saloon. Place is done well. Everybody, get out of here. Armadillo is unwell. Devil has the town in his hand. And back in the sunlight, what happened to our horse? Hey there, miss. Hello. And are you thinking what John's thinking? All of you be careful. Leave town. Get out of here. You okay, girl? Let's go. That was almost too easy. Let's recreate that jump for the intro. Stay here, girl. Hello, ma'am. Hey, look out! Pardon me, ma'am. The town is sick. Stay away. Stay away. Well done, John. What else is around here? Hey, partner. Hello? Begging your pardon. That's why you're my lady. Hey, mister. Hey. Girl. Howdy. You take that outfit off a corpse or something? Looks like the general store is open. Have a peek, 
you might like what you see. I thought this might be barbed wire, but it looks like ropes and chains. Everything in this store is as American as a soaring eagle. I would like five arrows, please. Take a good look. A lot of the stuff in here has multiple uses. Let's look at the outfits. Here's the bulldogger. Like the color combination, looks sinister. And the ranch hand, floppy hat, not really a fan of the floppy hat. The scrapper, essential if you are missing sand and knee. The armadillo, a duster, very traditional, and that hat looks very western and iconic. And finally, the corson. This is more of an early 20th century look, and John likes flat caps far more than I do. Let's read about the signature town look, the armadillo. The armadillo. The caliber of a man shines through in this outfit. There is no better supply house. This outfit services gentlemen the country over, working stockyards and oil fields, railroads and freight depots. The long duster coat shields from the elements. The plaid work pants are from the most popular line, combined with the English preacher's boots, gray union shirt, and leather bonded bulldogger hat. This ensemble will be found worn by him that requires the leading style but wants more for his money. A man at ease with hard work and the respite that deservedly follows. He is, at times, a martinet calling out loiterers with spoiled tempers who might cause worry to ladies in presence. Yes, his name does not fall into unfortunate gossip. His faults and foibles are literally laid out on his sleeve. We have no desire to crown him with a halo, for nobody is born perfect. Yet you would be hard-pressed to, with all his faults and failings, find a man superior in virtue. He is the reason the commonwealth is strong. He rises at daybreak, performs his tasks, accepts his pay, tips his hat to the young lady outside the dry goods store, and walks home in the crimson hues of the setting sun, listening to the cicadas hum, the heat of the evening. It would be a great pity if you didn't follow in his admirable footsteps and place an order today. All right, let me know if you need me to read something to you, though. A great pity indeed. However, John is still enjoying his new Chinese hat. Partner? Hello? Hey, mister. Hey. Hello? Hey. We can climb up on the bank. And that looks like the old schoolhouse. I feel like we accidentally clipped the horse with that jump, and John feels sad. Is there anything at the schoolhouse? K-9 
Can we shoot the bell? The good news is there is no sheriff here, so we can shoot all we want to our heart's content. However, the bad news is we cannot ring this bell. Nothing in this pit. Unsure what John was looking for, however. Hello, miss. Hello there, mister. Hi there. Hey. Lots of loungers in the train station waiting for a train that will never arrive. Hi. Those clothes don't look right. Oh, what do I know? Miss? Hi, mister. Gentlemen? Hello? Hey. and nothing on the platform. Also, it looks like the roof is clear. Good girl. Let's go. This town is sick. Stay away. John and the Tiger Mustang are bored with Armadillo. Let's move on. I thought we might ride up north a ways and visit Twin Rocks. This looks interesting. What's going on here? We shall dismount and we better eat something. John feels like this is an Evans repeater situation.
and checking the map. If we are close enough, we can check on hostile positions. Okay, let's go show off our new hat. And it looks like we have a runaway. However, to paraphrase Johnny Cash, you can run on for a long time, but sooner or later God will cut you down. Or in this case, John. That's a lot of you. <laughs> Morals. Collectible hat here. And this is the pinned flop hat. A little too floppy for my tastes. This building is open. Gold nugget in here. Random supplies, of course. Regrettably, we cannot sleep here. John is getting undead nightmare flashbacks, or flash forwards, if you will. And climbing up on the roof, pretty certain there was a Maxim gun up here, or will be, during Undead Nightmare. And is that a condor? Raven, false alarm. John was worried for a second. And some horses. Usually the Del Lobos have Mustangs. It's nothing. Come on there. What's that light ahead of us? Looks like a burning bush. Seems like an odd placement for a torch. Fire hazard. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Do you like John's new hat? John likes his new hat. On Mondays, we Marston. 
I'll see you in part 29. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Who's my girl? See, you, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius.